Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. So today we have another watch that's leaving my collection. As you might notice from um, the last couple of videos, I've been trying, trying hard to reduce my collection, consolidate some pieces, actually most of my pieces. Um, I'm leaving just like the bare minimum, like for instance, this one I'm leaving because it's a limited edition that I don't think I will be able to find anymore. Uh, this the the Nomos I will be leaving the Rolex Datejust from my grandfather sentimental value the Seiko from my father sentimental value um, the Explorer two because uh, it's one of my favorite watches I actually want to sell the Datejust the first watch I bought with my own money um, it's, I'm I'm on the fence on this one I wanted actually to sell it to a family member so it doesn't go out of the family and if I want to buy it again I can buy it. But now I'm I'm really thinking about it. Uh, the Zin is one of them as well. The Seiko and unfortunately the Smith as well. Why am I selling all these watches? As you might know, I have a, a big collection and I'm trying actually to consolidate instead of having these so many pieces that are very good pieces, excellent pieces, I would say. And uh, one of them is this Smith, as you can see, I never even used the 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 watch bracelet because I put it on the strap and on this canvas strap it just looks fantastic and the dial the aventurine dial looks amazing everything about the watches is, is, is pretty cool it's one of these watches that when I wore it I was like I really want to get an Explorer 2 uh, sorry Explorer 1 because but the dial here the aventurine dial is such a cool dial such a cool case everything about this watch i really like and i really enjoyed it even for the short time the, the five six months that i now have it i really enjoyed it so much but at the same time like i said i really need to free up some some liquidity because it's pretty hard to get the watch that i wanted to get uh, in the next couple of months without having liquidity at the same time um i can't see myself uh, having 20 25 watching and then enjoying them each equally I, I will do also a couple of videos on on this issue or this uh, idea and i think that's the normal evolution in watch collecting you start up by maybe buying uh pieces that you like and you think you will enjoy on the long run and then somewhere along the line you evolve and you get higher pieces and better pieces and then somewhere now where i am now uh we evolve to yeah less is more i really want less watches to enjoy but each of them have much bigger horological or much better horological value so that's why i'm i'm, I'm doing this i'm not doing it to flip it for um, profit um, i'm even selling it at the lowest price from the market prices that are uh, offered but like i said i really want to yeah upgrade my watch collection and without selling these pieces I will not be able to do that. Yeah, definitely one of these watches. If you if you have the chance to go on the website from Time Force and and get one out, do it's it's pretty cool watch and you will really enjoy it and really like it. And I definitely enjoyed my time with it. And if I have the chance in the future again to get one, I would definitely get one. But my plan is to get an Explorer one in or a um, Air King in the near future, which will have the same aesthetics is this one anyways thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please watch the review and the unboxing from this watch and hopefully see you in the next one bye bye everyone